and why Dave Parker is over there working on his piece. I have found the answer to Propecia. I've tried <laughs> Propecia and Rogaine, the, the chia pet seeds. Nothing has worked. I have found the answer. Actually, wigs back in the colonial days, fairly serious thing to talk a little bit about that. We have Betty, who was a journeyman, uh, works on wigs here. Betty, the wig thing, it's amazing how much went along with that. Very much so, because the wearing of wigs included your status, your position, who right. you were, your occupation. Matter of fact, if you see over here, I have several wigs. Your gray wig was actually worn by your professionals, your merchants, right. your doctors, whereas your dark wigs were for everyday wear. Right. Now, if you have some formal occasion to attend, such yes. as a ball, or having your portrait painted, or into going into battle, yes. then you want to wear the formal wig, the pale colored wig, the blonde wig here. It just so happens I have a very formal occasion tonight, and after that I've got a war to go to. I may need that wig tonight, so I, I was wondering if maybe do, I, Indeed. how that's going to work for me. You, okay. <laughs> oh, yes. I think it does improve your appearance tremendously. Yeah. I haven't felt this good in years. And there's a little bag on the back. What is the what is the bag the on the back? Sir, it's for formal wear. Indeed. Yes. It's like your tucks and tails today sorts of dress. I feel fantastic. Very good indeed, sir. Terry is an apprentice. Terry, what are you doing? I am weaving hair, and I'm weaving horse hair right now. This is horse hair from China. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you saying that what I have on my head right now is horse hair? Oh, no. You have human hair on your head. You're much more fashionable. But of course, because I have a fine dining occasion tonight. All right. From wigs to weather, uh, a little warm today for wigs or not. Got up to 90 degrees in Williamsburg. We've got some big changes on the way. Live look outside right now on Triple Doppler radar. Skies are clean and dry. There are some showers out to the west. That is rain that will affect us as we head towards tomorrow. Temperatures outside right now. We're going to find them in the 70s and 80s. It's 88 right now in Franklin, 77 though in Hertford, 89 in Newport News, and right here in Williamsburg. It is 88 degrees, 87 in Norfolk, 84 at the beach. Tonight's Triple Doppler forecast. Here's how it looks. Partly cloudy and warm. Most of you won't see a stitch of rain. Temperatures overnight around 60 to 63. Now, we should start the day dry. Our chance of rain really goes up as we head towards the end of the day. Uh, and then as we head towards tomorrow evening, the chance of rain continues to go up. And we can show you that on our hour-by-hour -hour forecast. We're going to start off tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. You see a few showers beginning to show up for areas uh, just north of the northern neck. But look how our chance of rain really goes up by the afternoon. In fact, that's midnight tomorrow night, and it looks like a few of those showers may linger into Friday morning. Let's go over to our 10-day forecast, and as we show you that, we're going to have a 30-degree drop from what we had today and what we're going to have as we head towards the weekend. Partly sunny skies tomorrow, some showers tomorrow night. Daytime highs this weekend initially in the 60s, but falling into the 50s as we head into Sunday. Betty, how long does it take to make a wig like this? Something like that, about 225 hours. Unbelievable. And you can't buy... put you on the list. Absolutely. Once again, this is what I've always looked for. You cannot, you cannot buy these here in Williamsburg, correct? Thank you very much to Betty and Terry. The work they do is absolutely amazing.